Cross-border crimes that include uh, illegal smuggling of counterfeit products and stolen cars remain a huge challenge at the uh, Kopfontein border post between South Africa and Botswana. This emerged during the visit of the Minister of Home Affairs, Dr. Aaron Mutswaledi. The visit is a part of the department's plans to monitor the smooth facilitation of travellers' movement over the festive season. The department has deployed at least 400 additional immigration staff at all ports of entry nationwide. Our reporter Selwane Khakhao spoke to some of the travellers. We're here to speak to some of the motorists because we know that this particular border is marked by the Department of Home Affairs as one of the six uh, land ports that are very, very busy, especially around this time of the year where people are traveling up and down, of course, to see family and to have a good time. So we've heard from some of the motorists that we have been privileged to speak to earlier on that um, especially around this time, it usually gets very packed. Traffic is very slow. Let me speak to some of them who are joining us right now. Thank you very much. Uh, please join me. You look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank festive. you. It is festive. Low. Yes, exactly. Okay, yeah, so yeah. tell me, where are you from and where are you going? I'm from Botswana. I just came to the border. I'm going back to Botswana again. Okay, so do you usually use this border? Yeah, I do. Okay. Monthly. Monthly. So yeah. on a regular, on a normal day, mm -hmm. how is traffic like here? Uh, it depends. Normally, if it's month end, yeah, you are likely to find more people crossing to South Africa. But right now, it's festive. Yeah, more likely, more people are likely to cross to South Africa more so that you know how Botswana are. Payday and festive mood, they are going back to South Africa, our neighbors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so today the Minister of Home Affairs from South Africa, Dr. Aaron Motswaledi, is here okay. to check, uh, you know, all these uh, complaints that people have. Um, what do you think needs to be done about this border? Uh, I think so far so good, but I think what needs to be attended is likely when it's, it's, it's raining or it's sunny people when there are too many when people are so many crossing to South Africa there's no we need the shade by the border there imagine when it's raining then you've got no you just sit on your car till the rain goes down but so far so good I, I guess yeah well with that particular problem good news is that the minister is here to check how this border needs to be developed and redesigned thank you very much for your time let me speak to thank the you. next uh, thank, thank you very you much Merry thank you thank you and travel safely <laughs> thank you sir for joining me um so how was your experience like today with this border let's just face to the camera quickly you can face to the camera uh no today it was not that bad people were not too many i was able to cross within uh, 30 minutes time from botswana into a South African border. Okay, but usually um, on, a, on a regular day, how is your experience usually like with this border? Um, sometimes, especially when it's too busy, yeah. uh, the experience is very bad because we can wait here for even more than an hour, uh, especially in the South African border. And then when you get into Botswana, the Botswana border, we wait for even more than uh, two hours or sometimes. It's, it's, it's bad. Yes. Right. So in your view, what needs to be done to improve the service here and yeah, traffic? Yes, I think uh, probably um, somebody could say that, uh, especially during peak times, uh, offices can be, uh, the staff can be increased or maybe extra offices so that we can cater for the people who are coming in in large numbers. Yes. Well, thank you very much. Travel safely and Merry Christmas to thank you and your you. family. <laughs> thank you very much. So thank these are the some of the motorists that are here traveling across the uh, Kopfontein border between South Africa and Botswana, saying that they would like to see the service here being improved and for traffic to flow much faster and smoothly in future. For now, studio, it's back to you.